going on guys? Uh, today's Easter, so hopefully you're having a, a good day today, spending some time with family, friends. Uh, if you're celebrating Easter, hopefully you're having a good time, and uh, if you're just at home playing video games, hopefully you're having fun doing that as well. And I kind of wanted to just mostly do a video around uh, some interesting stuff that's been floating around the internet, but mostly just have some fun and think a bit more about the Nintendo Switch Mini that has been rumored for a while now, and of course several publications talking about it. I want to take a look at a, a mock-up and then a supposed, again, quote-unquote leak. I have a feeling it's not a leak. I think it's just someone messing around having fun with it and essentially making a mock-up and then kind of trying to put a backstory to it. And I didn't see it spread online, which I guess is good, and I figure we can take a look at it uh, just for fun um, and uh, kind of go from there because I think there is an idea that's starting to get thrown around here with the Switch Mini, and it did make me think a little bit about uh, some things outside of just making the system maybe smaller and maybe playing around the screen, because there are some things to, to think about when it comes to the controls around the system. And again, it's just one of those things where, remember, the Wall Street Journal mentioned, oh, you want to, uh, you, you might not expect what these things will look like, I guess. And that's why I think the one you're seeing now in front of you, which is a very good mock-up, by the way, someone did on uh, Reddit. Uh, you can see it right there by uh, Duke NYC. I think this was a pretty good mock-up done, like in like, Photoshop or whatnot. Um, and I think they did a good job on it. I do question a clamshell design, considering the Wall Street Journal seems to point out something like the Vita as a good comparison for the Mini. But, of course, this would also kind of work with Nintendo attempting to make it more uh, stable, more sturdy for a younger audience that may buy it and run around with it. So, I guess the clamshell design isn't completely out the window. And I would be curious how people would feel about something like a clamshell design. I would probably not want a clamshell design. I think I'd be more on board with a Vita-looking system. But this was a pretty fun little thing they had. I'll leave a link below for this. Uh, but they, they did a pretty good job. They even described more about like what they would put in it. The screen is uh, uh, 6 inch, so they lose 0.2 inches. But I, at least the idea is cool, and I like having visual representation in front of us like this, so you can see, you know, Switch, Nintendo Switch Flip is what they what they would call it. See, we're, we're kind of adding stuff to Switch, whether it's Switch Mini or Switch Flip. So, a uh, cool idea there. I like Again, I like the, the time and effort they put into it and the way it looks and everything. So, uh, good job to NYC there. Now, let me talk to you a bit about uh, this quote-unquote leak. I talked about it on the Spawncast last night. Uh, it was one that got kind of buried on the forum. I believe they locked the thread and everything because I, I think they saw through it kind of like I did as well, uh, that it was probably someone just doing a mock-up. But I started showing it to some people, and they also kind of looked at it and said, well, that's kind of what I would expect it to look like from Nintendo. So again, some visual representation. But they also pointed out something that I noticed that uh, seems to be a, kind of a trend right now for a lot of people who are thinking about the Mini. And uh, that has to do with the controls when it comes to the control sticks on the Joy-Con controllers. So this is actually the thread. And the the backstory sounds ridiculous, but I think I know where they got the idea of the backstory from. The idea here, this is on a uh, this is on what I believe to be a German uh, forum for uh, it's called Computer Base. It had had to be translated and everything. But the idea here is. The person posting, it's a new account, so red flags right away, obviously. But the the story and the, the backstory they're trying to tell here is that they sent their Switch away for warranty work and then they got back essentially a Switch Mini, which appears to be like a a prototype unit. Now, I again, I don't believe this to be true at all, but uh, the funny thing about this is this actually has happened before, but with an Xbox. You may have not heard this story. I thought it was pretty funny back then, but there was a time where Microsoft accidentally sent an Xbox to a random customer two months before it was even announced, which again, I think is where this person is getting the backstory for their Switch Mini mock-up. Um, but they actually were sent like a zebra colored Xbox One and Microsoft went to the person's house and got it. <laughs> they had to go get the thing. Uh, they gave them an Xbox 360, a Kinect, and the person that actually just ordered a laptop and they were sent this. So 
That was kind of funny. Uh, if somebody, think about it this way, if somebody had posted this online and said, I ordered a laptop, but they sent me this, would you have believed them? I mean, we probably wouldn't have. I mean, look, it's a zebra colored thing. We wouldn't, we would have thought, well, this person's just playing around. So I guess technically you never know, but I still don't know if that's correct. <laughs> the, anyway, let me show you the mockups. The mockups were good. I do see it as a rendering and they used a table as kind of a backdrop for the render. So I take a picture of a table, put the, the mock-up on it to make it look like it's sitting on the table. I think lack of shadows and stuff kind of hurt it. But here are the, here's the mock-up for it. And it's a good one. I will admit that. They did a good job trying to make it look real. And I'll explain some things they did that, uh, that really makes it believable. But, and then of course, some things that make it not believable. So let's, let me, uh, let me zoom in on some of these pictures here. You can see, uh, I, I just think it looks like it's floating on the table, not necessarily sitting on the table, but you'll notice something here and it made me think, and that's one of the reasons I brought this up because it did make me think a bit more about Nintendo's strategy when it comes to something like a Switch Mini, the circle pads. So think about this with the Joy-Con controller. The, the Joy-Con sticks, they do stick up, right? Like they actually stick up kind of far from the Joy-Con controllers. Joy-Con controllers are detachable. So I guess it's not a big deal if you really think about it because they can be removed, making the tablet, of course, like flat. Now, the point of the circle pad is so that during the clamshell, it can close, right? The Vita, of course, had sticks that did stick out a bit, but not as far as the Joy-Con sticks. So it does make you think a bit, would Nintendo evolve the circle pad from the 3DS and use it on the Switch Mini? Still try to have similar travel, but have the ability to click because that's something we can't really wrap our minds around right now because we've never, we haven't seen it. Would they go the route of using circle pads and letting them click in? That's actually a pretty good question. Now, the more I zoom in on this thing, the more it starts to look like a rendering, to be honest. I mean, it could be like, I guess the bit right around the image and stuff, but like, X, A, B, Y, they look like, the more you get into it, it looks more like they rendered this thing and it's a rendering on a table. You'll have to let me know. I'll even leave a link to this thread down in the description. It's it's locked, so there's no more replies or anything to it. Um, and it's more of just speculation and fun. We're speculating a lot about the Pro, but I do, I'm interested in the Mini only because I think it's going to be like Nintendo's hot seller going into the holidays, most likely when it, we assume it's going to release before Pokemon. That makes sense. I do like that every rendering puts a D-pad on it because I don't I don't know why Nintendo wouldn't have a D-pad on there. It's not like you're detaching these things and moving them around. A first-party D-pad might be enough to get some people on board. Now, they did also flip it around. By the way, they have this not for resale thing down here <laughs> on the on the uh where the where the barcode, the serial number would go. They did a lot of work on the back here, and I have to give them some credit because again, I, I do think it's a rendering, but the FCC ID is different. I looked it up, by the way, uh, from what I could read, and it doesn't bring anything up. Uh, so there you go. Uh, the model number, also different. POC001 is what it looks like. That is also different. They have the uh, the voltage amperage seemingly correct. They did, uh, they did their homework on trying to make this part look very good. Whether it's 3D printed or, again, rendered, they spent some time trying to make sure this information is correct. The Switch Mini logo, I have questions about this part here, the mini being this massive thing behind it. I feel like if they're going to do it, they might do like, you know, little lines around it, maybe put it really small over here or something, or even like, yeah, I can see it being kind of next to it. I don't know if they would have this massive design on the back. They could. I just, I'm not seeing it. Now, this would also lend, I think, to the idea that it would not be dockable because they don't have the, uh, the bracket here to help it dock, right? Where they have the, the indent so that it sits in correctly. Um, but it still has like his little port down here. It has all the screw holes like around it. And uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it does look like uh, they have like uh, like tri-wing screws and everything, the tri-tipped ones. So the rendering here is pretty good. I'm a little concerned, confused about this. I guess they have a stopper here, right? Like a little, like a rubber stopper or something in there like the 3DS has had. Uh, I do like the backing here, how they have that set up with the uh, kind of the indent there. So it'll probably, I guess it would sit off of there. That's one of the things that um, makes me a bit concerned about the front one because it should be angled up because it's it's sitting on these. So it should be more angled towards us. That's kind of why I think this is a mock-up. However, 
I wouldn't be surprised if this is what around what the mini look like. I mean, would anyone really be surprised? This is a pretty straightforward, uh, I guess, rendition of, of what we think it's going to look like. But I am curious what people think about the idea of the, the, the circle pads possibly evolving and replacing the current Joy, uh, Joy-Con joysticks. I also wonder if that would save them some money, although the Joy-Con joysticks aren't that expensive anyway. I, I'm not sure how that would go over with fans, but it would work to shrink the profile if you turn it sideways and look at it. The front wouldn't have these joysticks sticking off uh, of the front. It'd be much more low profile for that. So interesting stuff there when it comes to these mock-ups. I like looking at them. They're kind of fun. This one just stuck out to me because it showed up on a very random website. You figure you would go to like Reddit or like game FAQs or reset era or NeoGAF, or you'd go somewhere where there's a lot of eyes and just drop it and try to tell the story. Maybe they were trying to tell the story to, um, maybe, maybe just a forum. That's a little less all about gaming to try to maybe get over on people with it, but it appears to be a rendering. So we'll leave it at that. But let me know what you guys think because Hey, here it is. When we inevitably have the mini or whatever revision announced, we can come back and look at it and it would be a funny story if uh, it turned out Nintendo did send somebody that, but I, I highly doubt it. Maybe they would do another Microsoft thing here. Who knows? Uh, let me know what you guys think about this down below. Just a fun little video uh, during Easter. Just taking a look at some mock-ups and one that kind of threw me for a bit until I examined the images a bit better. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.